Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. It's been a hot mini. It's been like three or four months since my last video. I haven't really lost interest in plants. I just wanted to take a break and, you know, enjoy life, socialize. And a lot of things have changed since my last video. Some plants have died, some plants I've sold, and some plants I've gave away. So stay tuned and I'll show you what plants stayed with me. And I'll show you. Alright guys, so my first plant is my shingling plant. And I've had this baby for about a year. And it looks the same. Like, I don't see a change. The leaves are not dying and it's not giving me any new growth. So it's looking the same. Over here on this small pot, I have a cutting of my lemon meringue potos. And it lost all the variegation. It used to be like more yellow and now, to me, it's turning into a global green. It lost all the variegation. Over here on the right, I have my philodendron mycan. Nothing much has changed. It is giving me new growth, but the growth is like super tiny. And I know like I need to put it close to a, the light, but here's, I like it right here. It looks cute right here on my TV stand. I like it right here. And then over here, I have this empty stand that my mom purchased at Lowe's. And over here on the bottom, I have my uh, Monstera Peru. And it was getting biny, and the vines were kind of like looking a hot mess, and it, they were kind of, it was mostly vines, like no leaves on the vines. So I just went ahead and I chopped it off, and now it's giving me some leaves. So, yep, and over here, this one's turning a little bit yellow from the tip. But nothing really has changed with this baby. And then over here on my coffee table, I have my Dove Aglionema. Super cute. On the middle, I have my Silver Bay Aglionema. And on both of them, well, on the other one as well. Um, the leaves on the bottom, they were kind of like yellowing and they were dro droopy and they were kind of like just hanging and looking kind of ugly. So I went ahead and I chopped those off. So now they look a little bit more better. And now that I did that, it's giving me new growth. And here's another one. I don't know if you can see. So, yep, you definitely, if you want to chop, if you want new growth, you got to get rid of those ugly leaves but yep this is my silver bay and then over here i have my moonlight true bi so right here on my coffee table what i was kind of going for was like the silvery kind of tones the silvery kind of color on my true bi on my silver bay and then on my dove aglionema and this one has yellow in the middle it's kind of Party, it's party, party. And then over here on my corner, um, remember I do live in a north facing window. I do have a north facing window, so they do get light, but it's not like hours of light. And then we do have a building in front of us, so yeah, we don't get like a lot of light. It's like light, but it's not like a lot of light. So over here I have my Silver Streak Potos. And then this one, it really hasn't grown. It's giving me a few little baby leaves, but nothing's really changed. I don't notice that with this one, the leaves tend to like crisp up and turn black. And I go ahead and I cut them with the uh, scissors. I put alcohol and everything before I cut. But I do notice that they keep on turning black. The tips keep on turning black. And at first, I was just pulling the blackness out of them. And they're kind of like weird. To me, they're kind of weird because they're kind of like paper-like. You know when you wet, wet paper and like you pull it and it's like... 
it's kind of like stringy kind of like you know well that's how these leaves are and they're kind of like I don't know they're paper like to me but yep this is my silver streak potos and then over here I have my syngonium the only syngonium that l survived out of the other two that I had the other two they went ahead and they turned yellow and then they just passed away out of the blue they started turning yellow and they just passed away and then over here I have my regular peace lily my normal peace lily and over there on the back I have my peace lily platinum so I'm yeah, really really happy because because of that really happy and then uh, this one this is my synapses and it was looking better but out of the blue it just started like getting droopy and not looking as hot and I went ahead and I put it outdoors but then it started getting a little bit crispy so I went ahead and I placed it back indoors and now I placed it over here on this lamp with two grow lights so hopefully it recuperates real soon but yep not looking that hot and then over here is just a little cutting that I had uh, from my Snow Queen. And it's just one little vine. And over here I have my Polynesian Ivy. And this baby, it had another vine, but it died. So, yep, not looking as hot. But it's surviving. She's a survivor. I'm a survivor. Da, na, 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 na. Okay, so this one is my Raven Cece. And she is giving me new growth, new leaves. And these ones were like super green, super green. And now they're starting to turn black. So really, really happy with my Raven Cece. Really, really happy. And then this one is my Syndapsis Exotica. And look at this baby. Because I went ahead and I added the moss pole. The leaves were extra small. And now look at the leaf. This is my newest leaf. And she's just massive. And over here I have my Baltic Blue. And she is growing. She is growing. She's starting to find out more. So I love it. So this is my little corner. Let me show you my other shelf. And over here, I went ahead and I did uh, the little thing. I went ahead and I, I was scared at first because I was like, oh, I don't know if it, it's going to resist. These pots are going to be on the ground and I'm going to have soil everywhere. But I've had those, I think, about five or six months and they haven't fed off. So, yep. Oh, and remember I used to have over here, I used to have um, my staghorn fern. Well, she passed away, honey. The leaves just started falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and the pot was just naked. She was just empty. Nothing was in it. So I was like, ugh, I'm going to go ahead and toss it out. And then over here I have my Snow Queen. And this is where I got my uh, little cutting from the other one. But yep, not much has changed. She still looks the same, kind of. And then over here I have my Cebu Blue. And with this one, I do notice that she likes to bind out. But when she binds down, she's kind of naked. Because it's just like a bind. And like she'll give me like a leaf. And then it's like a long bind. And then she'll give me a new leaf. So I just went ahead and shopped her off. And I mean, I like having her like this. She looks fuller. So, yep. And over here, I have uh, my Potos Enjoy. And she hasn't really changed that much. She is binding out. But, yep. She looks cute. And then over here, I have... 
this one is my give me one little second this is my string of spades I almost forgot this is my string of spades and she still looks the same not much has changed since I purchased it and over here next to it I have my Hoya Obavada the same nothing really has changed with it she still looks green she's alive but nothing really has changed. She hasn't lost any leaves and she hasn't gave me any leaves. So, yep. She still looks the same. And then over here I have my stone faces. And yeah, I wrote down all the my plants names just in case I forgot. And my stone face, I think they look so cute. They look super cute. So, 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 so cute. And then over here I have, let me see, I already forgot. This is my Hoya Pubicalyx Splash. So let me show you. And she really hasn't grown too. Like when I purchased her, she already had this vine. So nothing's really changed. But yep. And then this is like my little hocus pocus thing that I did over here. I have the candle that I purchased at Spirits Halloween store. And then this one I purchased at found it at Big Lots. These three I found at Walmart. And I was lucky because they had a bunch of uh, Sarah and a bunch of um, Mary and I was lucky enough to find Winnie she was the last one and then the hand from the dollar store and these candles from the dollar store and they're fake and then this book the, the Hocus Pocus book I went ahead and I did it myself with an old book and glue and a lot of tissue and then whenever she dried up I went ahead and I added a uh, the fake plastilina clay so yep little clay and the little fingers to their clay and then i the eye that's the only thing like from the dollar store you know but it looks badass i love it and then i have my other hocus pocus candle right here cute and then over here i have uh my crimson queen and she's lost two binds because it used to be three binds so yep I only have this bind now but this is the one that I have indoors I have one outdoors and then this is my silver sort philodendron and she also looks the same nothing really has changed my global green now she's starting to bind she is starting to bind out and I used to have, right here, I used to have my lemon uh, meringue, the big one, same size and everything. But I noticed that she started crisping up and she has started losing leaves and she started losing the variegation. She started turning um, green. So I went ahead and I placed it outdoors and baby, she passed away. She passed away this summer. I left it outdoors and it, I'm telling you I have like a north facing window so it don't get plenty of light it's only like two hours of light baby I went to work when I came back baby that plant was burned to a crease may she rest in peace I'm over here like she was dead like all the leaves were like scorched and droopy and falling and everything May she rest in peace, baby. And I was lucky to have a that little cutting that I have over there on the other, the one that I showed you earlier. And I, the only reason why I took that cutting was because she was binding out and she wasn't looking like, you know, round. She was kind of like round and then she had just that one bind. So I went ahead and I cut her because I wanted her to look round. So I got lucky. So that's the only meringue, lemon meringue that I have. But yep. And then over here I have um, my air plant and she is looking cute. 
she's expanding she was way smaller when i purchased her and over here i have my manjula potos and this is one of my favorites super cute over here i have my pink princess and i know the girl like it's taking kind of let me see there you go i don't know if you can tell this was a new leaf and these three are new leaves and they're coming in like super small but i mean she's growing and then over here i have my pearls and jade so yep she looks super cute can't complain and then over here let me go ahead and turn the light on over here I have another Aglionema and this is the one that I purchased for my birthday and I went ahead and I cut it the whatchamacallit I went ahead and cut um, the ugly leaves that she had on the bottom so that she can give me new growth and she is she's starting to give me new growth and then over here oh, I have another Hocus Pocus book this one's from the Dollar Tree and then over here I have my Moonlight Philodendron. And the same thing with this one. She had like a bunch of ugly leaves on the bottom. And they were kind of looking not as green. So I went ahead and I cut those off. And now she gave me three new or two new leaves and a shoot. So this one's new, this one's new, and then this shoot. And over there on the back I have my different bakia. A little different bakia that I have over there. And on my kitchen counter, I have uh, cuttings of a snake plant. That, the snake plant that I have outdoors, uh, she was getting like super long, super, super tall. So I went ahead and I chopped uh, some of her up. And I have, you can tell she's Jumanjo. Because look, the pot starts over here and look how tall she is. It's But yep, I'm just waiting on her to give me some roots. I went ahead and I cut her, I think, two or three weeks ago. So not that long ago. So yep, I'm waiting on roots to grow. But yep, she is Jumanjo. Alright guys, so outdoors I have my golden barrel. And I've had this for two years, I believe. She's grown. This is my aloe. She's growing. Over here I have my Euphorbia. She's grown a lot because she was about this size. Over here I have my rubber plant. She's grown a lot too because remember, I think it was like in January, February. She didn't have any leaves. It was just the stem by itself. Over here I have cactus my cactus I went ahead and cut it off so it was getting too leaning too much the same with this one and that one and this one <laughs> but it's giving me new growth so I am tripping and then this one I need to go ahead and take this one out because that one's already dead. That one's about to die. This one's already dead. Then over here I have my neon photos. Binding. I went ahead and cut it off. But yep, this is my neon photos. And over here I have my Snow Queen. I don't know if y'all remember my Snow Queen whenever I did the propagation. Not the propagation, but when I replanted them. And over here I have my Manjula on the bottom. And over here I have my Cebu Blue. And then over here on these three blue pots I have my Crimson Queen my Hoya Carnosa and I have my Crimson Princess so they 
look really really nice and this one was really long I just went ahead and I chopped her off because the vines were already hanging like super super long but look they're already growing again this one's long too but I just went ahead and the vine I went ahead and wrapped her up over here we have the spider plant she's already giving us new shoots new babies right here I have my mom's aloes already bigger our golden potos and this one keeps on growing we just go ahead and chopped her off and this one's my neon and then i don't know if y'all remember i used to have like a lot a little pots with uh ivies well we went ahead and we repotted them all together on this pot and I think it was five in total and only two survived. Over here we have our combination. We have our CC plant giving us new shoots with our Raven CC on the back. Over here we have our jade potos, all green, super cute. Right here we have our string of hearts. This is the variegated one and she's grown a lot. She has grown a lot. And then over here I have my, uh, my big fern. I forgot the name of it, but it's a fern. But this one's the big one. Oh, macho fern, I forgot. This is the macho fern. And over here we have our Hoya Carnosa. No, this is the compacta. This is our Hoya Compacta, and she's grown a lot. And then over here I have my heartleaf philodendron. Well, actually this is the Brazil, but some of the leaves are turning green. But you can see the variegation on some of them. And then who remembers my Jesenia potos? Well, I went ahead and I put it outdoors for the summer and she gave me a lot of variegation. She kind of looks like a snow queen. Like you can still see it's a Jacinia, but some of the new leaves are just so variegated. Over here I have another ZZ plant. This is my mom's San Siberia. And then this is her other San Siberia. This is her big snake plant that we have outdoors. And you can see, here's where we went ahead and propagate. We went ahead and chopped them off. It's already given me a new leaf. And over here outside I have my yellow gem and uh, she used to have bigger leaves and they were all crispy kind of like this but worse so I went ahead and chopped those off and she is grow she grew and grew and grew and I don't know if y'all remember uh, around December when I did my first video I think she was like super small she wasn't even on this pot yep, she's growing And over here I have my uh, bird of paradise and I've chopped it off quite a lot but it keeps on giving me new leaves really really happy with it and it was super small because I purchased it at Walmart on spring no not Walmart it was the garden center Houston garden center and then over here I have my Tridescantia Sabrina
purple heart, Cradestancia. Then over here is the aloe that we have. She's grown quite a lot, so. And then we have a lot of Hawaiian spider plants over here on a big pot outdoors. Super heavy. But yeah guys, those are the plants that are remaining. A lot of them passed away. Some I gave away and some I sold. Some of them I sold them on a... There's a Facebook group here in Houston that I be on. and I, Sometimes people be like selling plants whenever they like don't have the space for them or you know. And I just don't want to have too many plants so I don't want to purchase a lot of plants because I don't want my house to look like a garden center. Because last year we we didn't even put a Christmas tree on because we put, we, I, we did, but it was like a Dollar Tree one. Like one of the small one foot or two foot Christmas trees. So this year I want to go ahead and put a tall Christmas tree. But yeah, I don't want the house, the apartment to look uh, like a garden center. So I'm not really going to be purchasing any more plants. At least I hope so. But yep, yeah, those are the remaining plants and these are the fish and they're getting bigger. I don't know if I remember my uh, goldfish. But yep, yeah. if you enjoyed watching the video, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing another one real soon in a couple of weeks, hopefully. And uh, stay tuned. I hope y'all have a blessed one. Stay safe and see you on the next one.